What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can very easily get reimbursed for any books that Amazon has actually lost. Now, these are gonna be books that Amazon has had in their possession, like they actually checked them in, they got the shipment, checked them in, and then somewhere in the warehouse has just gone missing, they don't know where it's at. I'm gonna show you a very easy way that you can get reimbursed. If you actually look at my screen, I just recently did this and I got over 20 reimbursements. I got, I think, close to about $1,000 back. And you really need to, do need to take action on this because Basically, there's a certain time frame from which you can, you know, request to be reimbursed for these books that have been lost. And that's actually going to change from 18 months down to 90 days really quickly. I think October 23rd is the day you need to do it by. So make sure you really do this if you want to, you know, get reimbursed. Now, obviously, you're going to get a lot more reimbursements if you're a big, bigger seller, meaning you actually sell more books. If you don't sell very many books, you may get one here or one there. But if you're somebody who sells thousands of books, I'm sure you're definitely going to get quite a bit of money back, especially if you don't use some sort of reimbursement software, which I actually don't use. By the way, thank you, Christian. Christian's the one who brought this to my attention. He's in the HOA Masterclass and just made an awesome post saying exactly what you need to do. So thank you so much, Christian, but let's actually show you how to do it now. All right, so we're over here in Amazon Seller Central. You're just gonna come up here to the top left where you see those three lines. You're gonna come down to reports and click on fulfillment. Now, once you're there under most popular reports, you're just gonna click on inventory ledger. Scroll on down under the and under the type of report, go ahead and click detailed view and under event type, select adjustments. Now this is gonna give you a bunch of different reasons from damage, inventory exposed of, found, lost, and other. We're only going to select the lost only. And then what we need to do is actually select the date range. Now, remember I said that you can go back 18 months as of right now, but on October 23rd, basically Amazon is shrinking that down to just the last 90 days. So for right now, what you can do is basically go as far back as they'll let you and you can just go and click the exact dates and essentially just go back as far as you can possibly go and it'll be grayed out when you can't go back any further. So. For example, April 28th, 2023, as of today, it says as how, how far I can go back and I can go all the way up till today, October 18th. Now, something that you're going to want to probably do is plan this out. You know, look, you know, once you get all your reimbursements for this time period, you know, moving forward, you're going to want to put something in the calendar that says, hey, every, you know, 90 days, go back and, and run this report again and try to get reimbursed. So last thing you do is click generate report. And you're just going to get a bunch of different ASINs that went missing, essentially. Like Amazon doesn't know what happened to them, inventory misplaced. You're going to see that, you know, this is negative one for quantity. Some of these Amazon will actually have found, some of them they won't. And that's where we're going to get reimbursed. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is just go back over to Amazon Star Central. And up here in the search bar, just go ahead and type in uh, lost inventory. Now, when you do that, you're going to notice it says recommended solution, investigate FBA inventory lost in the warehouse. So select that. And all you need to do is now enter an FN SKU. And that's exactly what we just got here from this, you know, um, report that we just read. Now, this is actually going to start from the most recent date all the way down to the oldest date. So you can see there's been 72 books that Amazon has lost. Some of them they'll found, they will have found, some of them they didn't. And again, I got about 30 reimbursements here. So that means, you know, if the sort of, data and the odds are similar to you, I mean, you could potentially get, you know, up to 30 or 40%, maybe even more of those books reimbursed pretty much automatically. So all you're going to do is actually just scroll down until you get to the, you know, the oldest book that has been lost. Go ahead and copy that F and SKU. So just control C for copy. You're going to come back here, enter the F and SKU, click continue. You know, essentially they're going to search for what happened to this. And you can see it says these items have been previously reimbursed as reimbursement idea, blah, blah, blah. Now, this was a book that actually, I, you know, I really went ahead and did this. You basically saw that it had like over 20 reimbursements. I did this and it essentially said, I forget what the message was. It, it says something like, yeah, this was lost and it is eligible for being reimbursed. And I basically got reimbursed almost immediately. Now, be patient if it doesn't come through right away. It might take a day or two days. I think that's what it actually says. Wait, wait up to a day or two days in order to see it on your transaction view. But that's really as simple as it is. Just copy and paste each F and SKU. Take this one, you know, come back, do the same process again. Go ahead and enter the F and SKU. And let's see if we got reimbursed for this one. So actually it looks like this book was found, which is a good thing. That means Amazon, they lost it, but then they found it. So now it should have been available for sale and it probably did sell. So again, just go through, copy and paste, copy and paste every single F and SKU. And then what's so cool again is when you actually look at your transaction view, which the easiest way to do that is just click on your total balance. 
click on the value there, then go ahead and click on the transaction view. And then you can, you know, see the most recent transactions that have posted to your account. And if we, you know, look at, you know, 50 results here, you can see that I did this a couple of days ago and these are all inventory reimbursements. Some as high as $197, $48, $79, $54. So this could be quite a quite significant amount of money for you if you're not using any reimbursement software or service, which I don't again, but this is just a, you know, basically if not a free eight or $900, that was it, but it was $900 that I wouldn't have been able to get. And that's certainly a lot of money that I can do a lot of things with. I can buy more books with it. You know, I can buy baby clothes and baby diapers. I can, you know, use it for travel, bunch of stuff, but really wanted to make this video again. Thank you, Christian. And I think Christian said he got it from another YouTuber. I'm not actually sure who that YouTuber is. So whoever that person is, I want to say thank you so much. It wasn't my original idea in any way. All I'm doing is showing you guys how you could use it. Again, do this before October 23rd, 2024. You can go back 18 months and do that. Once it's 2020, you know, once it's October 23rd, I think you can only go back 90 days. And again, I think the strategy is to put in your calendar or set an alarm for every 90 days to make sure you go back and do this because, you know, you're probably going to get a couple hundred, you know, maybe a hundred, 200, maybe $300 every time you do this every 90 days, as long as you actually sell some decent volume. Again, if you're somebody who's still building and you're not quite getting a ton of sales, you probably still get one here or there. I think it's still worth doing, but hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.